He got on the radio and said that he was going to stop the vehicle. When the car didn't stop, he advised the dispatcher that he was involved in a pursuit. And in fact, the pursuit led him to a field behind Montgomery Mall. <coughs> the radio was silent for the next six minutes. When the backup unit arrived, they found a red Chevy Nova with the driver's side door open. The suspect was nowhere to be found. But there were two police vehicles stopped behind that Chevy. And the backup officer found two police officers shot and mortally wounded. The second officer with Corporal Franzak was Captain James E. Daly, Jr. Captain Daly had heard Corporal Franzak in the pursuit and went to assist. At the age of 43, Captain Daly died two days later at Suburban Hospital. The suspect was later apprehended in South Carolina. He was sentenced to three consecutive life terms in prison. Captain Daly was survived by his wife, Fran, their three children, Steve, Kathy, and Eileen, their a grandson, Joseph, and now a great-grandson, Nicholas. All of these members, members of the Daly family have joined us here today. Fran, we love you. <laughs> Corporal Franzak was 32 years old. He was taken off life support three days after this event. He was survived by his wife, Susan, and his two sons, John and Daniel. To the families of these men and women, and to all of the families that are gathered here today, I express our condolences for your loss and for the sacrifices that you've had to make over the years, and for the sadness that you have had to endure. You know that your heroes will never be forgotten. It means so much to the Montgomery County Police Department that you're part of this ceremony every year. There are many men and women with the Montgomery County Police Department who make sure that we have an appropriate ceremony each year to honor the legacy and the sacrifice of your loved ones. First and foremost, we should thank Assistant Chief Betsy Davis for all she does year round to make sure that all of our heroes are never forgotten. Betsy, thank you. And there are dozens and dozens more Montgomery County police officers and other law enforcement personnel who contribute to this, but I want to give a special thanks to Officer Steve Smigurski. Steve has organized graveside vigils for all of our officers. <coughs> Steve, thank you for what you do to honor these heroes.